That Germany Roy oil piece hanging on your living room wall is about a lot more than aesthetics. But have you tracked the change in its price since you bought it? How has it fared compared to pieces by other even newer Indian artists whose works have been making them household names among art connoisseurs? You can now find out by accessing the Indian Art Index, the brainchild of Mumbai-based art gallery Aura Art and I am Ahmedabad. This first of its kind index tracks the movement in the prices of pieces by 25 prominent Indian artists from MF Hussain to SH Raza to Tayyab Mehta based on prices that they fetch at 11 global art auctions. Data is updated quarterly and the index is published twice a year. The aim its creators say is not just to offer real time price information but promote Indian art globally. The index um starts in uh, the first quarter of 2001. So far, we have analyzed uh, artworks uh, artworks auctioned uh, across different auction houses across the world, but mostly in India, of top 25 artists. Uh, it amounts to nearly uh, 10,000 artworks that we have analyzed. Last year, in India alone, pieces by Indian artists, which were collectively worth $100 million, went under the hammer. Now this is a small number, working out to less than 1% of the global art market, which is dominated by the US and China. But the domestic market is on track to explode as India adds to its billionaire count, many of whom increasingly see art as an investment. You have 1100 industrialists and in, uh, wealth uh, creators in India with a 1000 crore plus wealth in 122 cities. My guess is that only 25 to 50 of them have been allocating anything of meaningful amounts to art. Even if they put 1% of their wealth in the next 10 years towards art, which is 10 crores per person and growing, you have 10,000 crore uh, coming into art from this one small pool. The index also aims to bring in greater transparency in the art investment world. This is crucial since much of the Indian art world has not yet forgotten the OSEAN Art Fund, which failed to meet its investor obligations in 2009. Some of those fiascos were not necessarily about uh, the asset class by itself, but more about uh, lack of regulation and uh, about uh, the fund management style and some of the decisions that some fund managers took. Do some of the failures of the past stop us from learning from them, improving on them, and then uh, coming up with uh, more improved investment uh, products uh, is, is, is something that we really need to give a second thought to. The Indian Art Index will join the likes of Sotheby's Main Moses and Artnet, which provide several art indices. Hopefully, it will also play a significant role in adding Indian art to the global art investor's palette. In Mumbai, Aditi Sharma.